important things to consider when you're unloading and loading filament is you always want to do it with a hot nozzle. This will prevent you from getting any kind of jamming of material inside of your print head, which can cause a lot of headaches. So right now I already have a piece of filament in my print nozzle just so that I can show you how to unload it properly. Some printers may actually have an unloading and loading feature, in which case it'll actually move the gears and push the material out for you. If your printer does not come with this, it's even more important to make sure that your print head nozzle is hot. So either way, heat up your print nozzle to the appropriate temperature for the material that's in your printer. So I've already done that, and basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable my loading and the unloading feature on my printer. In this case, there's a menu option that says change filament. We're going to choose to, before we actually unload the filament, load it. And the reason is, is because if you've had filament sitting in there, um, you want to make sure that there is no material that is stuck inside the nozzle before you pull the material out. So we're going to load the filament through first. If you have to, you can do this manually and push it through, but like I said, I have the feature on this printer, so I can load it using the program. Once you've loaded a sufficient amount of material through, probably about an inch or two length of material, you can stop the loading, and then you're going to start unloading. If you're doing this manually, you would push through first a certain amount of material, about an inch of length, um, and then you're going to start pulling it out slowly. Try not to pull it hard, otherwise you might cause it to snap inside of the print head, in which case you're going to get a jam and that makes it much more difficult to deal with. So what I have here is MG Chemicals PLA filament. So we're going to open our box and get the roll out. So whenever starting with a new roll, it's always a good idea to unravel at least a few inches or more of material to make sure you get a good solid piece. The other important thing to do is make sure that you have a nice clean cut at the end of your filament. Once you have a nice clean cut, you're going to feed it through your guide tube. Hang your filament on your spool holder, and you're going to take the end of your tube and insert it into your hot nozzle. If you have to do it manually, make sure you do it slowly, and make sure that you push out a certain amount of material before you stop. But if you have a loading program on your uh, printer, make sure that you use that. If you just recently taken out filament from your printer like I have, you're going to want to feed through a decent amount of material until you see the actual color change. Otherwise, you're going to see the different color in your print. Once you have a few inches of material extruding through your nozzle, you're going to insert your guide tube into the top of the printer and stop the loading. Those are the basics to setting up your 3D printer. There are some other things to consider, such as the type of material you might want to use, uh, post finishing, and things like that, and we'll discuss those in later videos. But as of right now, you're pretty much ready to go to start printing on your 3D printer.